we are doing a small calculation to find out that if there are two masses located at a distance r, what is the potential energy of this system? What is meant by potential energy? That is work done. Who is doing the work here? The force which is between the two, that is gravitational force. Now, these two particles are placed at this distance, then some work might have been done. That is why they are at this distance. Why they are not at this distance? Due to force they would have been at this distance, but they are at this distance. Some work has been done on it and that work is stored in it as its potential energy. So in our nature, Wherever anything is, its position is due to its movement up to that position. Whatever work is done to bring that object to that position, that work done on it become its potential. It is a general definition of potential. So here M1, M2, they are at a distance R. This is their position to bring them to this position. Some work might have been done. And that work has become potential energy of this system, combined system of this family. <clears throat> okay. Now, how can we calculate how much work is done? For that, first, we search a point of zero energy. And we know that the field of M1 is extended to a very large distance and when we reach infinity, then this field is almost zero. There if we place M2 and move it, no work has to be done. So we can say that when M2 is here, there was potential energy zero. Okay, that is our starting point. From here, this gravitational force is allowed to bring it to this direction and some work is being done. Okay, attracted with the force, displacement is taking place, force into displacement, work is being done. When it comes here, we lock it here. Up to this much distance, whatever work is done, that becomes the potential energy of this system. Okay we have to calculate that potential energy. Now, energy or work done is force multiplied by displacement. But the problem here is the force is variable. At different points, because the distance is changing, the force G M upon R square keeps on changing. So, at, we cannot multiply any one value of force with this total distance. So, we have to apply some other method and we use calculus method. We take any one arbitrary point which is at a distance x. If m2 is at this location x, then it is experiencing a force. How much is that force? g m1 m2 upon x square and from here we start. Potential energy of this system is work done on the system to bring them from infinite distance to distance r. This is our strategy, how we are going to calculate potential energy of the system. And this is our starting point. At an arbitrary distance x, the force is g m1 m2 upon x square. Now, a small work done to cover a very small distance dx. Why we do so? Because the force keeps on changing and we are not allowed that for this large distance we don't have one value of force, we cannot multiply. But we can think that for a very small distance dx, the value of force is not changing here, here or here. So if value of force is not changing for a small distance, that value of force can be multiplied with dx to get the work done. And that is what we do. So a small work done to cover the distance dx is equal to f at that point dx into cos theta. So this is the small work done. That is force 
what is gravitational force here g m1 m2 upon x square the displacement is x square cos theta what is theta here the gravitational force has a direction this way because it is attraction force dx is in this direction though this is cos 0 and cos 0 is equal to 1 so we have it here g m1 m2 m1 m2 upon x square okay <clears throat> into dx now we want to uh, calculate the work complete work done from infinity to this point and we say from infinity when we bring it here the total work done is w so when we integrate dw this will become w okay so how much is integration of dw integration of this thing integration of g m1 m2 x to the power minus 2 into dx okay this is equal to now m1 m2 x to the power minus 2 out of this g is constant 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 they come out g m1 m2 and we have to do the integration of x to the power minus 2 dx only now what are the limits of this integration from where should we start adding up this phenomena what is the value of x we start adding up from infinity up to which point up to r that much work we have to calculate so we will start calculating from infinity and stop our integration when we reach the distance r so these are the limits okay now this is equal to g m1 m2 x to the power sorry here minus 2 minus 2 because this has come from denominator so g m1 m2 x to the power minus 2 when integrated become x to the power minus 1 to be divided by minus 1 and the limits are infinity to r okay now work done from where infinity to r infinity to r this is equal to see there <coughs> g m1 m2 minus 1 comes out we write it here minus then x to the power minus 1 is what 1 upon x and here this is r this is infinity so this is equal to minus g m1 m2 this is 1 upon r minus 1 upon infinity 1 upon r minus 1 upon infinity this okay so 1 upon infinity is 0 and what we get here is g m1 m2 upon r minus g m1 m2 upon r this is work done from infinity to r please remember it and who is doing the work gravitational force is doing the work gravitational force is doing the work minus g m1 m2 upon r so that much work is done at the up to this point so the energy of this system that converts into energy in the system minus g m1 m2 upon r so we remember this formula energy of a system where two masses are at a distance of r that is equal to minus g m1 m2 upon r this is energy of a system okay now please remember this formula and this is the appropriate formula 
what is this energy potential energy and this energy does it belong to this mass or this mass answer is no it belongs to the complete system if i hold it and allow it to do the work it will do so much work if i hold it and ask this to do the work it will do that much work so energy belongs to a family a group this is the one okay so this is potential energy what was that mgh which we studied mgh was actually the difference of potential energy between the two points which have the distance between them as h otherwise it is derived from the same formula you want to see that okay let's do that difference of potential energy between two points which have the distance h see the calculation here is the earth center of the earth this distance is r here is a body we take this body to this much height h okay this body has got mass m when this was here mass of earth is m e and mass of this body is m when this body was here what was the potential energy of this system so potential energy at surface when body is at surface of earth potential energy when m is at surface this is minus g mass of earth mass of body divided by distance r this has got power 1 only okay again potential energy when m is at height at height h then this is minus g m e m upon r plus h so there is a change in energy now what is the difference of the two energies we can find out can you tell me which one is higher value of energy which energy is more here denominator is larger so this quantity is less this quantity is large but see the sign negative what does it mean this quantity is large but this is negative suppose this is minus 100 and this is minus 80 where is minus 80 height h here it is minus 80 and here it is minus 100 so if a body goes from this point to this point what happens to the total energy of the system here the total energy of the system was this much here total energy of the system was this much so when we go up is there gain in energy or loss in energy so answer is there is gain in energy because on our number line here is minus 80 here is minus 100 so when we go from minus 100 to 80 there is a gain positive side so whenever we go up there is a gain in potential energy this is answer to your question when we go high there is a gain in potential energy now we have to calculate how much for calculating how much we must this minus this we should do this operation so difference of energy or we can say gain is minus g m e m upon r plus h minus minus g m e m upon r okay this minus minus become plus and we take out this as common g 
MEM is taken as common out. Okay, now what is left here? This is 1 upon R minus 1 upon R plus H. Okay, now let's do it. So this is equal to G M E M and here we have R plus H into R and here we have R plus H minus R, R plus H minus R. So what do we have here is G M E M H upon R plus R into R. R plus H into R. Now this H is very small compared to R. So we can neglect it for addition purpose. H is very small compared to R. So we neglect it. Now what this becomes G M E M H upon R square. What is this formula for? Remember this is the formula for small g. So this we can write as small g and what is this? M, this is g, this is h, m g h. What is this m g h? Difference of energy that is gain in energy. So this m g h formula is basically derived from this formula itself. And what is the formula? Energy of the system. So when a body is here, it has certain potential energy. When body is here, it has certain potential energy. Both the potential energies are negative. But there is a gain in energy and that gain is equal to mgh. This is what we remember in the topic that whenever a body goes up, the energy received, potential energy is mgh. Because that much is the work we are doing now. So this is about energy of the system. Please remember, this is the fundamental formula. And what is the formula for force? Force is equal to G M1 M2 upon R square. Force. If you multiply it with displacement, that is multiply with R. If you multiply with R, then this will be power 1 and that becomes the energy. This negative indicates that the force is attraction. Because you know force as such is pulling it. There is no opposition to that. So the work done is negative for that. Okay. If we remove the obstruction from here, then it will go automatically. No external agency has to do any work on it. That's why this work done is taken as negative. So if there is a force of repulsion, the work done will be positive on this side. If the force is attraction, the work done is negative. Okay. So this is the calculation of energy of a system. Thank you.